Good morning, FL kids. Good morning. I almost can't believe it's Sunday again. I feel like I was just here with you last week, but I miss you still the same. I still miss you. I have my friend Ollie here with me today. I have my friend Ollie because he misses you guys so much. I hope that you guys are watching Ollie on Tuesdays. We post our Ollie video on Tuesday so that you can hang out with him. Good morning, Kalel and Miss Adrian. Good morning, Miss Gina and Addison. Good morning, Miss Ashley and all of the Kaufman gang. Good morning, Jody, Miss Jody and Jaylee Stark. Good morning. Ollie's so excited for this morning, friends. He's so excited, and I am excited too, because it is a beautiful Sunday, and I there's just some really silly things that are going to happen on this Sunday, and I think you all are just going to enjoy it a lot more than me, probably. So you all are awesome. Hello, Palmer friends. Hello, Billy. Hello, Corbin and Miss Rachel and maybe Pastor Jason if he's on too. Good morning, everyone. Well, I know that we haven't had a lot of friends where you could see us, but Ollie's been with me every week. But this week, I brought some other special friends with me. I brought some other special friends with me. So while we're waiting for more of our friends to jump on, I'm going to show you that I brought some other friends with me. So I'm going to put Ollie down over here. And Ollie will hang out at our lemonade stand. Guys, our lemonade stand is almost finished. We'll hear more about that. Ollie doesn't want to stand over here, guys. He keeps falling. Ollie just wants to fly away today. There he is. Okay. Ollie is over there. I was telling you though that I brought some more friends because Miss Gabby misses her friends so much and I cannot wait to see you all again. So I brought some of my friends with me. I'm getting them ready to show you here. Brought some of my friends with me. I guess I gotta spin them this way so you can see them. Miss Gabby's silly here this morning. So my friends that I brought with me are right here. Oh my goodness, look, you can't see them all because there's so many friends, so many friends. I don't know if you have received your mail this week, friends, but if you have, you might recognize some of these cool, cool people. We are pretty special and pretty excited these are all of our FL Kid leaders. We've got over here Miss Mackenzie and Miss Ashley and Miss Val. What? Why is Miss Gabby there? There's two of me, friends. There's two of me. Then we have Miss Cynthia and we have Miss Gina, and they all miss you so much. They miss you so much that we sent a package to you in the mail. It has the surprise things in it and it has some of these and we think you're gonna have so much fun with them this summer. So they wanted to come and say hello to you today. They wanted to come say hello. And that is just awesome because why not? We just wanna hang out with you because we miss you. So now we get to hang out with you all the time as Lincoln said, if Lincoln's watching, you are the man. You are awesome. I have been seeing some pictures of you guys receiving your packages. So if you get your package, take a picture with your leaders and show us because we miss you so much and we just wanna hang out with you. So this morning, we have some more special friends. Because Miss Gabby's all about friends today, I just really love you guys and miss you so much. So every week this month, we have had some special visitors from one of my favorite, favorite shows, The Veggie Tales. Who loves Veggie Tales? I know, you all love Veggie Tales. Who doesn't love Veggie Tales? Miss Gabby has a really fun song for you, really quick, with some of our friends from Veggie Tales. And it is starring this guy. 
starring this guy, Larry the Cucumber. So Larry is going to hang out with us for just a minute. And it's time for a silly song with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. As this curtain is going to open and Larry starts, he's just having finished his morning bath. I hope y'all maybe took a morning bath. If not, you might take one after this. But Larry just finished his morning bath. And he's in search for his hairbrush. But he's having no success and he cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, where is my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Paul Grape enters the scene, shocked and slightly embarrassed of Larry in a towel. Pa regains his composure and reports, I think I saw a hairbrush back there. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, 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 back there is my hairbrush. Having heard his proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene, slightly embarrassed at Larry in a towel. After he regains his composure, he comments, Why you have a hairbrush? You don't have any hair. Larry is taken aback. He thought never had occurred to him. No hair. What would this mean? Would this become of him? What will become of him? His hairbrush. Larry wonders. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair nowhere. No hair nowhere. No hair nowhere for my hairbrush. <gasps> Having his wondrous Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, and he regains his composure and confesses. Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, well, you never used it. You don't really need it. So, well, I'm sorry. I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach. Because he's got hair. Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, he's feeling a deep sense of loss. He stumbles back and laments. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, nowhere, no hair, nowhere. Not fair, not fair, not fair for my hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the room, both in a towel, slightly embarrassed and shocked. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for the hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but feeling an emotional attachment to the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, take care. Don't care, take care. Take care, take care, take care of my hairbrush. Larry was so in love with his hair and his hairbrush until he realized he didn't have any friends. That is so silly. I hope that you love VeggieTales as much as I do because I really love VeggieTales. But right now, I need you all up on your feet. Shake all of those sillies out because we're going to worship, friends. We are going to worship to God made me special. You are specially made by God. So we're going to sing our monthly song. So get ready to dance with me. You ready?
best friends. I just want to keep worshiping, but I really might need your help because I think I might have lost something. I might have lost something and it's kind of making me a little sad. I think I might need your help looking for it. I might need your help. We have had our lemonade stand up this whole month and we have been collecting our our little offerings, all of the money that we get from our lemonade stand is going for our offering to our foundation. And guess what? I lost my offering container. Everyone say, oh no. Oh no. I lost it guys. So I need, I might need your help. I just, I don't know where it went and I don't know. Can you see it anywhere? Can you see it? I think I might need my binoculars to help me look for it. I might need them. Can you guys see where I might have put my offering container? These ones aren't working as well. What about these binoculars? What about these? Do you think, do you think you see it? Do you see the offering container anywhere? Do you see it? I Guys, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know where I put it. What am I gonna do? I don't know. I think I lost it. I don't know. You keep keep looking. I'm gonna maybe, I'm gonna maybe look some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to just look some more, but I need a minute. I might need a minute to look for it. So first, I wanna tell you a story. And to tell you my story, I need to give myself a little setup here. So I'm going to set this up because I need some help. And I'm going to tell you a really, really special story. Okay, so I'm going to tell you today our story is from our Bible. Does everyone have your Bibles? You can hold your Bible up really high if you have it and show me that you brought it with you this morning. It is in the book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 8 to 10. And you don't have to find it right now. But that's where it is if you ever want to hear the story again. And it is one that Jesus told about a woman who had 10 coins. She had 10 coins. How many coins did she have? How many coins? 10, that's right. She had 10 coins. So let's count them together, okay? I have my some coins here, but I might need you to help me count them, okay? So when I hang them up here, I need you to help me count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine,
everybody count with me, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten coins. We found them all. Hooray! I, oh my goodness. I'm so excited that we found all ten coins. Jesus told us this story because he wanted us to know that just like that coin was really special to the lady, we are special to God. Let's celebrate, friends. Everybody say, God loves me and I'm special. Say, God loves me? Yes, and I'm special. You're right. God loves you and you're special. That is the truth, friend, that you are special and God loves you so very much. So let's pray. Everybody put your hands together and we're going to pray together. Dear God, thank you for this story that Jesus told us. Just like the coin was very special to the woman in the story, we know that we are very special to you. Thank you for loving us always. We love you too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I have one more silly song to share with you today about our friend Larry again and something that he loved. Just like the woman loved the coin and just like God loves you and me, Larry loved something a little bit silly too. And he wants to tell you about something that he loved. So now it's time for a silly song with Larry, the part of the show where Larry sings a silly song. One day while talking to Dr. Archibald, we're gonna call him Dr. Archie, Larry confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see. That'd be too bad. You'd be too sad. That'd be too bad. Alrighty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you. I think you're gross. That'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips went to Duluth, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it. Did you say your father? Fascinating. So what you're saying is, if your lips left you, that'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad. That'd be too bad, that'd be too bad, that'd be too bad. Why? Because I love my lips. Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Larry, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, lip, lip. Larry, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. One day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard and it felt weird. Oh my, my, she had a beard and it felt weird. She had a beard. Then 10 days after I turned eight, I got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke a lock from the crowbar and I had to spend the next six weeks in a rehab with a kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip. And couldn't even talk to each other on the fifth week because our tooth got so swollen and then he started speaking Polish and I only knew three words in Polish except for four because Oscar taught me how to say lips. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is when you were young, 
They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird. My friends all laughed. Usta! I'm confused. I love my lips. Beat a bop 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 beat a boo. Beat a bop 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 beat a boo. Beat a bop 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 beat a bop 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 boo. Oh, look at the time. Bye, friends. Larry loved his lips, friends. Just like God loves you and our lady in our story loved her 10 coins and all of that was so special to each one of them and i'm sure you have something very special to you too miss gabby is so excited that i got to join you today that you jumped on and listened and hung out with me because i miss you so so very much i have a couple things that i want you to know this morning, if you have an elementary kiddo in your house, make sure you jump on at 10.30 with Miss Val today. And then all of you, jump back on this afternoon at one o'clock. Everyone say one o'clock. Something really special is happening at one o'clock, friends, because we got more than 20 Bible verses in, which means that Miss Gabby and Miss Val are getting slimed. Y'all gave us so many memory verses that Miss Gabby and Miss Val are getting slimed at one o'clock. So jump back on and watch us get slimed because it's gonna be funny and y'all are gonna enjoy it and it's gonna be great. So don't miss it because y'all earned it when you gave us your Bible memory verses and you spent time learning it to learn more about God and putting him right here in your heart. That's so special. So 10.30 with Ms. Val, one o'clock to watch us get slimed. And then on Tuesday, jump on at 12.15 because Miss McKenzie, I think I have Miss McKenzie here. Miss McKenzie, she's gonna read a Bible story with you guys or a story. It might not be a Bible story, but she's going to read a story to you on Tuesday and that's going to be awesome. That will be so awesome. One more reminder. I know you have now met all of our leaders. All of our leaders are here. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. All of our leaders are here. Make sure you take a picture with your leader. Take us wherever you want. We want to travel with you and go on an adventure with you this summer. So find your surprise in the mail if you didn't get it yet. And if you did, take some pictures with it and show us that you got it. We're excited that we get to hang out with you all summer. I'll see you guys back at 1 o'clock when I get slimed. Jump on to see Miss Val, and I'll see you again then next week. Bye, friends.